Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir. ICSC means SWS. You know that by now, don't you? My request to you is to subscribe and press the bell icon because itna support to banta hai. Okay. <coughs> Today in this video, we are going to be looking at questions from ICSC 10th class physics, questions for the semester 2 board examinations. And in addition to this, if you want more quality test papers, there are 19 test papers on the SWS app, both MCQs and subjective type, both chapter wise and combined board paper pattern wise, and they are prepared by an experienced faculty and a board examiner. Okay, let's get started. Now, what I want you to do is because the way the questions are written, the answers are written on the right hand side, that is in the orange pattern side. So if you want to test yourself, what I would request you to do is to put a sheet of paper on the right hand side of your laptop, desktop, whatever uh, instrument you are watching this video on right now so that you can know what is it. You can pause the video and then you can see the answer whether you have guessed it right or not. If you have not revised it, you can just know the answers. The choice is entirely yours. Let's get started. By emitting an electron, a neutron may change into a proton, positron, beta particle or will it remain unchanged? The correct answer is A, proton. By reducing the amplitude of a sound wave, the property that changes is the pitch increases, the pitch decreases, the loudness increases or the loudness decreases. The correct option is D, loudness decreases. The nuclear radiation which gets deflected towards negatively charged plate in an electric field is gamma, beta, ultraviolet or alpha. The correct option is D, alpha. In which of the options does the resistance decrease with increase in temperature? Copper, mercury, platinum or carbon? Correct option is D, carbon. Electromagnet can be demagnetized by switching off the current, increasing the current, decreasing the current or none of the above. A is the correct option. So these were the five MCQs. There are five more uh, one or two mark kind of questions, uh, mostly two mark questions, give reason kind of questions. Why is ammeter connected in a series in a circuit? An ammeter is connected in a series in a circuit because in series combination the current is same at each and every point of the circuit and ammeter measures current in a circuit. This is how you need to answer something like this. Now let's twist the question a little bit okay, and see how you will answer this. What will happen if an ammeter is connected in parallel? Then your answer will be that if it is connected in parallel it will draw most of the current and get damaged. It is a very low resistance device, hence it is connected in series. You can give the rest of the information also in order to impress the examiner that you obviously know how an ammeter functions. The next two questions are taken from Educart with their permission. We don't do anything without permission. We don't just take away from any book and put it out here. So this is with, with permission from Educart with who I had collaborated for the semester one sample test papers. When a troop crosses a suspension bridge, the soldiers are asked to break their steps. Why? Now this is a longish answer. When soldiers march in steps, and please understand this carefully, each soldier applies a periodic force and so the bridge executes the forced vibrations of the frequency which is equal to the frequency of their steps. Tuck, 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 the way you have seen the soldiers marching in step. Okay, now what happens next? When the frequency of the steps becomes equal to the natural frequency of the bridge, suspens suspension bridge is something which kind of keeps on moving, right? It will vibrate with a large amplitude due to resonance and the suspension bridge may collapse, which is why they are asked to break their steps, which means walk in an irregular kind of manner, okay? The next question, this one also from Educart. A bucket kept under a running tap is getting filled with water. A person sitting at a distance is able to get an idea when the bucket is about to be filled. Now what are the two questions? What change takes place to give this idea? That is the idea that no, you know when the bucket is about to be filled. And number two, what causes the change in the sound? Can you think about it? I'll wait for a moment. 
Meanwhile, if you are looking for more such questions, the Educart book for physics, chemistry, maths and bio is quite good. I, I find it pretty good. I know the mathematics paper is over, but I pretty much like the book. Okay. Answer to A is as the level of the water in the bucket increases, the sound becomes shriller and shriller. That is the pitch of the sound increases. Answer to the B question is with the increase in the level of water in the bucket, the length of the air column above it decreases. So the pitch of the sound increases. Okay. The last question in this video, a radioactive substance is oxidized. Will there be any change in the nature of its radioactivity? Give reason. Here you need to read the question very carefully. Oxidized is the key word. There will be no change in its radioactivity because radioactivity is a nuclear phenomena and therefore it does not depend on electrons. Whereas in oxidation, there is only change in the number of electrons. Okay. I hope you found this useful and I hope your preparation for the physics examination on the 9th of May is going on well. And we have to do much better than what we did in the semester one physics examination. All the best to you. Thank you very much for watching.